Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you the almost real Bentley Muslin Grand Limousine So this is the one of the models that I was going to get it last year and then decided not to because of the uh, sheer size of the scales is huge and it's very long and it's a massive a lot of die cast actually so it is really cool I love it and but then again I already have the uh, shorter version of Bentley and they look exactly the same anyway um it's just a longer version of it and so that's what i thought um so at the time so and also this is expensive and i wasn't sure what to do you know uh how am i gonna put these things in my display cabinet and where they fit and all these questions and then this year i thought you know what uh never mind screw that <laughs> let's get it and so i decided to go for it and you know what i am not regretting it whatsoever i'm absolutely loving this car actually this is worth every penny and uh, i paid for about 250 us dollar from the small ant model car as usual um so they sent it to me and they come with some kind of certificate as well saying that uh, what number this car is i think mine is a 314 i'm not sure how many out of it so maybe a 500 or a thousand that they made um they come in three different colors you got there's a jewel tone like a blue and the uh, silver and then they also have the uh, uh some kind of champagne color uh burgundy color and something like that and they also have the um black color as well i think so you got three different color and i chose this one because of the two-tone i always like a two tones in a british lim luxury limousine cars and like a rose rice and bentley and stuff like that so i think it looks cooler um so anyway so this is really is a premium quality collectible item it definitely is it's nothing like once you get almost rio or lcd uh, I don't think you want to go with any other model cars like Buago and Mace though. They are absolutely, they cannot compare basically. They, this is really a different league. So Norav and stuff, even then, they can't actually catch up with these, you know, almost real. They are really, really good. And the paint job is consistent throughout the whole cars. I don't see any problem with it and the quality is decent and it comes with a two little uh suitcase as well <laughs> i'm not sure what it is but okay but it's kind of cool it comes with a um, two suitcase let's measure this up so i have a tape measure so how big this guy is so it's roughly about uh 39 38 around about that centimeter so about 15 inches long so this is really is uh long car and i'm gonna do the weight as well i'm curious to see how heavy this car is so here we go uh all right jesus this is really long okay this is over 1.357 uh 1.3 kilo basically so it is quite heavy actually so um this is really really nice um i'm loving it so let's look at the com uh car from the start so um, this is a bit heavy as well and I have to be careful not to break off or drop it on the floor um, so right so from the start that all these mesh are see-through and they are actual metal right they are not plastic this is really nice the only uh, you know uh, metal grills that I have is the, uh, the Nora Bentley and the uh, all the rose rice and you know all the grills are see through and metal feel and the rest of my model cars I have it all plastic feel um, so these are really good quality and they're nice decent chrome everywhere on the bump you know on the grills and uh, the bumpers also nice and you got all the nice see through grills and they're all metal right they're not plastic and then it looks like a two separate unit as well so you got this bumper uh, it kind of sticking out a little bit which is a shame um that's one thing i noticed i just uh, on the other side is perfect it's nice and flush but on this side it's a little bit stick out for some reason so that's the one um minor flaw that i just noticed and the headlight details are incredible so i'm not sure you can see clearly they can see the nice pl clear plastic with the all the daytime running light as well so this is really really 
nice i like the headlight as well and you got bentley logos here and uh, if i open up engine so the engine details are decent although it doesn't really have much but that uh, you can actually see through and there's quite decent depth in it you can see that underneath that there's a hollow part just like a real car you know the real car there are some certain gap that which you can actually see through the ground and this is just like a real car you can see my fingers going underneath which is nice and the engines are very nicely done here and um, there aren't any sticker or anything like that which is a shame but i'm not sure like this in real car as well but i thought they should put some kind of warning sticker or something like that you know in here but nevertheless it's not too bad engine detail and the wheels are very nice i love the bentley wheel they are so you know posh feeling and they're so shiny and glossy and what i really love is that they painted a blue color on these areas of the alloy wheel and then the Bentley B logo is also nice and um, this is really lovely quality and then nice suspension kick and feedback as well and uh, so absolutely no problem so if I turn it and you can see it's a decent steering wheel uh, range here so if I turn you see the steering wheel actually turn as well some of the model car when you turn it it's barely lit move it, it does connect it they are connected but barely move but in this one it's noticeable it's a decent range i would say and all the buttons in there is an all the little knobs and buttons they are so clear and nicely done the seats are also nice and nice soft plastic and you have all the chrome effects on the door sills and then you got wood effect on the front and a speaker, even a speaker has a little uh, chrome surround here as well. It looks really nice and pol you know, uh, polished uh, quality. Um, all the buttons on the door, they're also decent. So I have absolutely no problem with interior detail. And also on the roof, uh, you can see there are some uh, light control and stuff like that. That is really cool. So basically, the car has a two different tone the front is a black color that's one thing i realized here and at the back is a very uh light color so white and at the back the front is black so not black i would say it's more like grayish and then you also have a nice carpet here the back is very luxurious i mean i can see that it's amazing you got separate door pen you know driver and the, the back as well with the white glass in the middle and then you got privacy glass everywhere around and also on the roof as you can see here and they are very well details here um, it's a shame that i won't be able to move any of those stuff it would be nice if i can you know move these pieces to bring the uh, tvs down and things like that but unfortunately i can't do any of those stuff like the uh, chinese model like a lcd or confi and the seats doesn't move either they're all fixed but the, for the show for the surface this is really nice model and this is absolutely stunning and also that on the door you can see the speakers detail the buttons or the door handle they're very nicely done so interior is absolutely bang on right and also one thing i just realized here so you got a little bit of text message on here not sure what it says uh something i can't see something david something i can't actually read it and but they definitely have some kind of writing stuff in there so here also the same um what does it say with the light reflection is kind of harder to see actually something about david again i'm not sure this is the person who made it um in Mulina, David, LP, something, something. Anyway, right, um, I can't actually read it out, but it does have something in here, all right, so that's really good. So, anyway, so let's close this side and I'll uh, show you the other side later on. And the back suspension also nice, nice kick, very well done. And then you got underneath detail as well, so you can see that. Bentley, Muslin, Grand Limousine by Moulina, made in China, almost real. So 
they're all there so you can see all the details underneath there they're decent uh, the exhaust pipe is chrome uh, this is nice metal feel it's not plastic these are plastic obviously but this part the chrome part is like actual feel of metal which is nice um, even this is a plastic I would say this is a very nice plastic and you got all the parking sensor as well and let's see at the front dude does it have it as well yep it does it has all this parking sensor at the front and the back and uh, here is a trunk and the trunk also have carpeted on the surface as well and you got all the little metal detail and also on here the nice chrome and uh, shiny glossy black plastic something here and uh, very nice carpet actually but my only concern here is that it doesn't stay the boot all the time it's always dropped by itself just like my mercedes my back now this time it does stay but uh, if i move a little bit it will fall down by itself so that's the one little issue but uh, i'm not complaining and also i wish they start making the heat line on the rear windows to make it even more realistic or the you know curtain or something like that but they don't actually do that yet so that's one thing um you see all the light detail they're also good uh, on the other side of the uh, car uh, interiors again is beautiful as ever and so is the front the front also nice and you can see all the uh, tinted window on the back and uh, it's a shame that it doesn't have any curtain if this come with a curtain that would be very nice and i like all the chrome only door sills and all these stuff this is all very nice and one thing i wish that they have done better is the uh put their heat lines and curtains in the car considering this is a grand limousine and also i wish that they put the panoramic sunroof at the back here as well at least the back maybe if you don't want the front that's fine but at least put it at the back like a my back you know uh, thing, things like that but anyway they haven't done that and that's my only suggestion for them to improve hopefully they do it better on the new my back um you know cars um so let's see what happened at that time anyway thanks for watching uh, i hope that this is actually helpful if you want to looking for one of those model cars and um, help you to make up your mind about this car so i thoroughly recommend almost real uh, without a shadow of a doubt because they're very good model cars and paint job is good the quality is consistent generally uh, almost real models are very nice but they are a little bit pricey and but they are not pricey as some of the cars like the bbrs and things like that but you know they're still quite pricey but i'm happy with it almost real because they do die cars they don't do racing yay that's a good thing about them so anyway so i'll be looking forward to getting some more almost real in the future i'm thinking of bagani as well at the moment but they are ridiculously expensive like 400 dollar <laughs> so yeah other than that if they are priced a little bit you know uh, like an lcd price then i would definitely go for it but <laughs> they are a bit expensive for a car at the moment so there we are anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers